report that uh, was published yesterday in one of the dailies concerning the pending bills. I think it was authored by the controller of budgets. I spent a better part of yesterday consulting with my colleagues in other counties. It is true that majority of the contractors and suppliers are not comfortable with that report. It doesn't reflect what is on the ground. In all the 14 counties that make the Lake Region economic block, most contractors have not been paid. Most suppliers have not been paid. What we saw there is not what we expected. And we are asking the control of budgets to give us the correct position of the pending bills. If those reports were given by our county governments, then again, they never gave out the correct report. S we went down to scrutinize a bit of it. We tend to believe that whatever was covered was just a portion of the pending bills that fell in the year 2022-2023. Most of our countries have left out the bills that accrued in the previous years that I would say 2020-2021, 2019-2020, We even have 2017 and 2018 in other counties bills that have been pending, have been paid. I think I'm going to repeat this for the second time, for the upteenth time, that contractors and suppliers are suffering. We've lost lives. We've lost properties. Simply because our devolved units cannot be able to pay the pending bills for the services we offered as a people. Let our county governments try as much as possible to eliminate this animal called pending bill so that our economy can move on. I'm one of the contractors eh, in Migori County. <coughs> my, my pending bill is of 2021, 2022 financial year. And um, we have been trying to follow up on that payment since that time, since the new government came into place. Unfortunately, we have not been able to see such things coming out. We have not been paid since. So when I see, just like the chair has said, um, if, if, if uh, in the budget, in public budgeting process, you're talking about uh, paying pending bills fa as first charge, I think then um, pending bills dating from that period of 2017, as he said, all the way to 2022, before 2022-2023 financial year, was supposed to have been actually paid, if that is the case. And if there is question of verification, then those which were verified, they were supposed to be actually paid. But unfortunately, uh, you have all the, even the, the bills are, in my case that we are asking for, are constructions, not supplies. It's your physical infrastructure development, a house, something like that. So it's something you verify and you pay. So the question why it hasn't been paid, then um, we need to get that clarification from the executive so that it is clear. Remember, this is business. So you put your money, it's supposed to give you profit. You have loans in banks, you are not able to service. Some of um, the contractors' properties have been auctioned because of such challenges. So it is really a challenging process, uh, a, a, a big challenge. It is a problem that is affected almost all of us entirely because it's like a shop. So someone has decided to close people's shops and that is the source of employment. So basically my, uh, my appeal as a, as a contractor is that uh, let the government ensure that before now they do any new project, any new project, let the contractors first of all be paid. That is, th that is why that money is put there. 